Delhi government approves Delhi motor vehicle aggregator and delivery service provider scheme 2023 for sustainable mobility. The Delhi government has given its approval to the Delhi motor vehicle aggregator and delivery service provider scheme 2023, a move aimed at promoting sustainable and green mobility. The key highlights of the scheme include sustainable mobility. The scheme mandates a transition to electric vehicles for commercial fleets to reduce air pollution with a target of making the entire vehicle fleet of aggregators, delivery service providers and e-commerce entities electric by 2030. Electric bike taxis. Aggregators are allowed to operate electric vehicle only bike taxi services with operational guidelines provided in the scheme. Service quality standards. The scheme sets strict standards for service quality, including vehicle cleanliness, driver behavior, and timely resolution of customer complaints. Public safety. Compliances are outlined to enhance customer safety. The scheme applies to aggregators, delivery service providers, and e-commerce entities operating within the National Capital Territory of Delhi, with 25 or more motor vehicles in their fleet. Operators must obtain a license within 90 days of the scheme's notification, valid for five years with annual fees except for EVs and a 50% rebate for vehicles less than two years old. Monetary penalties for violations range from 5,000 to 1 lakh rupees. However, the file has now been submitted to the LG's office. Delhi Environment Minister Gopal Rai writes to Union Environment Minister Bhupendra Yadav regarding problems of pollution during winter session in Delhi. The Delhi Environment Minister Gopal Rai has called for a joint meeting with Union Environment Minister Bhupendra Yadav and NCR State Environment Ministers to address the winter air pollution crisis. Emphasizing that 69% of the pollution affecting Delhi originates from external sources, Gopal Rai stressed that despite Delhi's winter action plan, efforts will be futile unless NCR states take action to curb pollution. Rai outlined various measures to reduce pollution, including transitioning public transport to CNG or electric vehicles, halting stubble burning, converting polluting industrial units to natural gas, upgrading brick kilns, ensuring 24-hour electricity to housing societies, enforcing a firecracker ban, and diverting non-destined vehicles on peripheral expressways. This plea underscores the need for coordinated efforts to combat air pollution in the national capital region. An international news, the World Health Organization, WHO, the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, and the World Trade Organization, WTO, will hold the 10th Joint Technical Symposium on Facing the Future Human Health and Climate Change on 14th November 2023 at the United Nations Office in Geneva, UNOG. The deadline for registration is 10th November. Participation in the symposium is open to the public. Online registration is open until 10th November 2023. I'm sharing a link in the description. Please share your valuable comments on this video in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button. It costs nothing to you but encourages us tremendously. And also, share this video with your friends and colleagues. And if you have not subscribed so far to this channel, please do it now. You can also share your stories, news, research synopsis, your articles for publication in our print version and share your videos for this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this. We will come back with another episode for you. Till then, do take care of yourself and your environment.